supreme understanding how to hustle and win reparation revolution today's word is gentrification you're gonna learn what gentrification is and you're gonna be able to talk about it to your buddies um, and I'm at a very appropriate location for this I'm on a uh, Myrtle Lab here in Brooklyn New York and uh you know Myrtle Lab is, is very different from what it once was you know I just remember being out here you know a couple years back and you know this shit was pretty much the hood through and through but now as you see you know there's new development springing up see that see that you know you know you still got a couple little hood shops here and there but uh you also got your uh you know expensive ass sushi places uh Italian restaurant right down the street charged like twenty dollars for an appetizer so um you know laundromats being replaced by dryer cleaners uh corner stores being replaced by animal groomers and, 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 and animal clinics I mean you know this is the way of the world this is happening all over this is happening in uh, Jersey City Chicago LA the Bronx I mean really any hood any hood where is poor people people of color living in an area that's close to the city center white people are coming back taking the land back and it's they ain't got to do no land grabs this ain't the homestead act this ain't back in the day this ain't like stealing the land from the indians i mean it kind of it, it is because they got tricks and, tri and, and and they got they got some sleazy ways to go about doing it but what really is just happening is the property values is going up so the rents is going up the uh property tax is going up so people can't afford to stay in the hood no more and once you leave they come they come and so that's when we see you know the people walking their dogs and jogging in their little booty shorts and uh of course riding their bikes you know with big ass backpacks why the fuck do they have backpacks oh oh it's a tennis racket of course it's coming from playing tennis you know and it's interesting when you can catch it at this stage where it's like a mix where you still see some of the hood and you still see some of us and then you see like them filtering in and they don't be scared either they do not be scared. I'm talking about in my neighborhood in Atlanta. They started moving in with their dogs and, you know, and they just feel free to go over there wherever they want. Meanwhile, my young boys, they got to worry. They got to worry when they walk down the street. They got to worry about getting jumped. They got to worry about getting robbed. They got to worry about getting shot at. These white folks don't got to worry. Ain't that deep? <coughs> but, you know, it's like back in the day, you know, when they took the land from the Indians, there were settlers. Settlers were the ones that were brave. They didn't give a fuck. They would go live out in, in hostile territory just so that they could set up shop for more people to come in later. But don't worry, because every hood, every hood in America that's close to a city center is, is, is not going to be a hood after a little while. See, these, these, are typical, these are type motherfuckers that move into the hood first. These just strange looking motherfuckers. And, and we ain't shit either, because we the first ones to try to holler at them. You know, it's just like person of color see a white woman missing a tooth or two he gonna try to get at her that's that's the one he gonna go after he ain't gonna go after the pretty one he gonna he's gonna pick one that's just as bad as she can look and next thing you know you got interracial couples walking around dudes skateboarding people kissing their dog in the mouth I swear I saw a little yoga class somewhere around here but hey what's deep about it is we act like we own the hood we claim blocks we claim streets we claim zones we claim fucking districts and ain't none of this shit ours and you don't get reminded of that shit until when? Until a motherfucking white boy drive through your hood pumping some shit like that. And you know the shit ain't yours no more. And he ain't got shit to worry about. Because this is their community now. This ain't your community now.